Hello, my name is Abe. Welcome back to The Binding of Isaac Repentance. Did I slur that enough? Um, Cantripped. It's a challenge, we have it. I think we unlocked this in the the Tainted Cane run at some point. Let's see what Cantripped is. Call that last episode, blame it on Mighty Odin, says Snail God Onion. I will do that. We have... What? We have a bag that has Pisces in it. And we have a bag that has the matchstick and the iron or the gold bar? I mean Oh. Our item's gone. We we get temporary items. The heck is this? Booster pack. I mean, cards, if they last for... Ah! It's a wild card. We get a random item. And we have to use the items in order to reroll items, and we only get a certain amount of items per room. Or per, per that we can hold on to right now. So I would like to use Matchstick, because we get the black heart and we get the bomb. So I, I understand the run completely. We get to hold on to three items. And we get to choose when to use the items, and then we lose the items and when we leave the room. They're very temporary. So what do we have now? Dead Sea Scrolls. Let's go into the next room and use it, why not? It's a mystery. We don't know what we got out of it, but we got something. I can't use it. I assumed it used the active item, but I didn't see any effect. Maybe active items don't work. I don't know. Guillotine, you know what? I don't like it. But it is at least a tears upgrade. There's two cards remaining. We should probably just use... Let's use GB Bug. It killed a fly, I guess. And then what if we use... Um, what if we just use Guillotine? Because Guillotine is very annoying. It's a damage upgrade and a tier upgrade. I didn't realize it was a damage upgrade. So it, it honestly does seem pretty good for this fight. You know what we should do? If we can hold on to Iron Bar, we should use it on a room that has a lot of black flies, turn the flies into gold, and then get like infinite money. So we should, pri we should strategize about when we use our active items. Guillotine into the curse room. We, we don't fly with the guillotine, so. Guillotine into the curse room doesn't matter, unfortunately. But you know, that's a very good point. If an item gives us a characteristic, we should try to keep it. Starter deck. Extra, extra, we can hold on to another card, okay. I wonder if you get starter deck every boss fight because I have to imagine it's going to stay. It stays. Okay, we're going to use this. Yeah, active items just don't work, okay. We could get mapping on this floor. We have six bombs. Let's get some mapping. I was kind of hoping for there to be a secret room here. That's that's good. Um, this bird foot I don't really care about. We don't need the health. We have like a full black heart, so let's open it. Key and a bomb. That's acceptable. Okay. It hurts, no it doesn't. Rotten baby. Tech X. All right, we're gonna save Tech X for like a boss room, I think. That seems pretty decent. There's no item rooms. Um, we have to start using cards. Let's get rid of Rotten Baby. This is a Spirit Heart, so we'll use Metal Plate. We'll just use Mom's Pad. I think that if you get an active item, it should just use the active item. But I guess that's not how it works, huh? It's just a card. I think we should check, because you never know what you're going to get. This is Bouncing Bullets, not Ipecac. Oh, and you can just buy cards for five cents, huh? Okay, well, I don't need a card right now, because I have full, but thank you, for, uh, thank you for asking. And I would have to imagine that you do, in fact, get to maintain plus one card every floor, because we fought the boss, and by fighting the boss we got Tarot Deck. I imagine we get that every boss. Maybe actives are glitched. I don't think they're glitched. I think they just don't work because you only get passives. Like I don't get, I don't have any active items ever. 
and I, I wonder if I'm just never gonna get any active items. Ooh, you dropped a card, huh? Whoops, I did not mean to hit Q twice. Uh, that's, that's highly unfortunate, because that's a pretty cool combination. <laughs> I wanted to switch and then use the candle, which does work because you hold it over your head. Interesting. I did not expect the candle to function, but it does. We also have a bone heart from something. Um, I guess we'll use options question mark. There might be options to maybe get like an extra item or a choice in a, of an item after this combat. I could use golden bar, but let's save it for a better room, I think. Epiphoria, no thank you. What the heck is this? Soul, radiant victory. Dude, you know what? Well, no, we should save this for a boss. We should save epic fetus for a boss fight, I would have to imagine. Um, so let's just go into the next room and use, you know, let's go into the next room and use Epiphoria. I do, I do have five bombs. I guess I could use that on the Tinted Rock there. We only have to go to Mom's Foot, by the way, on this challenge, which is nice. Dead bird. We just get the passive. We don't even get the bird out right now. <laughs> That's unfortunate. So I think you just want to use bad items to get room for better items. That, that seems to be the, uh, the case here. And honestly, we can probably just use... Yeah, Dr. Fetus, and then just kill Larry Jr. pretty quickly. So I'm pretty happy with this outcome. There's our terror deck, so there's more card room and more cards, which is nice. Oh, it's just, hey, you want a card? Ah, you know what? This is a devil card. Yep, it's the nail. What's this devil card? Dad's key. Very interesting, I haven't seen these before. So we have Dad's key. I don't know why we would want it, but we got it. You know what, with the nail, I think I will go over here and get to that tinted rock now. Yeah, very cool spikes. And very cool like way of getting Devil Deal items that, that still works in the, uh, in favor of the challenge. So that worked. I wonder why the other active items aren't really working the way you would expect them to work. It, it seems strange, doesn't it? Raw health seems important, we'll grab that. And, I mean, honestly, I'm just gonna use this because I think this is a bad item. Satanic Bible. <laughs> let's let's see what happens if we use, no, 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 we want, we want the extra trinket room, but I wanna see what happens if we use this on the next floor, will we get a deal with the devil spiked ring altar or something? The heck is telekinesis? I think this is like a booster pack item that I don't understand. Virgo, flush, I mean flush is a, is a necronomicon, that's nice. So yeah, so like obviously active items are working. It's just weird that they weren't working when I was trying to use them with other items, but the deal with the devil items, the deal with the devil active items do seem to be working. Bingo. Wait, dad's key can open secret rooms, can't it? We should see if we can find a secret room. This is just Zodiac. Um, ack, 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 ack. It's a speed up. Magic mushroom, or not magic mushroom, but the other mushroom. You know what, will this work? Contagion on mushroom. Let's get them all together. Please, please, please. <laughs> I can't handle the damage down. It do it works. All right, we got sack head and a speed range upgrade. You think we could get spun? That's an interesting idea. Do you think we could get spun if we save three syringes? I don't know. I understand though, oh, we just got a, oh right, because when you pick up sack head, you get a sack. Uh, I wonder, well actually I'm not gonna say I wonder because it's not what I meant. Uh, I understand why we only go to mom's foot because if you don't get permanent items, you're not gonna scale well into the late game. You know, you can save items to clear bad hard rooms, um, you can make it to mom's foot probably pretty easily, but past that, 
You know, if you're relying on temporary items, you're probably not gonna make it super far, are you? Got one card out of it. Dude, you know what? Crooked Penny, it worked. <laughs> God, is this flight? I mean, that's pretty good to get temporarily. You keep transformations. I, I don't know, like, because if you lose, like if we use an, uh, okay, if we use a syringe and then we lose it on the room being over, I don't think we'll keep it for the transformation, but if we just get spun, we might keep spun. I don't, I don't know exactly how it works. Okay, we got placenta, which is honestly pretty good. We also got mom's key, which I'm just gonna use for space, I guess. Could get bookworm. I guess, yeah, if we hold on to three books, we might be able to make bookworm happen. Placenta, I'm like, what if we hold this for when we're low on health? We can just get a heal out of it. So there's the Bible. You know, we can use this to kill mom instantly. All right, that's that actually does seem pretty good. You know what? I'm out of here. <laughs> I don't want to finish your room. I will use Roid Rage though for speed. But yeah, I'm like, okay, what if we what if we use the Bible to kill mom and then I don't know, do boss rush? <laughs> you think all the cards in the book room are, car are books? Um, you know, honestly, that that would make sense. That would explain why the deal with the, de the devil cards are deal with the devils. Uh, then again, we did just get Godhead, so maybe I have no idea what's going on here. Maybe the random cards can be a random item. I don't know, but maybe we should go back for that, um, those book cards. Eh, it's a long way back. <laughs> Although, again, if we could get Bookworm from him, maybe it would be worthwhile, but I kind of like just not going through that room that we dads keyed our way out of. I guess it's not going to be too bad of a room. Annoying enemies, sure, but... Materiate's really bad. I feel like it's getting even worse as time goes on, but I don't know how that's possible. All right, thank you, random godhead. We get starter deck. We get garbage! Just gonna like, use some items and get them out of here. Cause if we're gonna go back for those um, book room cards, we might as well, you know, get space for them. Hey, we, got a, we got two cards out of it too, that's good. Ouija board and the pick. Which I assume would work. I assume that we'll hold it over our head and it'll be active and, and capable of being used. Which, if it gets us into, oh, temporarily, it's gone now. Range up, yeah, okay, so it doesn't work. It's not books. That's okay, you know, we learned. It's not books, not books. Mmm, not books, not books, mmm. Yeah, this challenge, honestly, it doesn't seem that difficult. It just seems interesting. But I do hope that we can kill mom with the book, with the, the Bible. <laughs> I do hope that works. What's interesting is that it, it does mean that deal with the devil cards, <clears throat> excuse me. I believe it does mean that deal with the devil cards are deal with the devil items. You get the nugget and a lot of money. So angel items should also be, or angel cards should also be um, angel room items. It's very interesting, very strange, very unusual. I, God dang it, I just used the Bible. No, I needed that to win. Oh, I am, I am so pissed at myself. Uh, Cause it's control to swap, Q to use, and I just hit the wrong button three times in a row. Oh, I really wanted to see if we could kill mom instantly. Well, it's gonna be a more annoying fight now, huh? Holy poop. Well, for a room, I'm gonna have holy poop. Oh, QQ, yep, QQ. Oh, Q 
QQ indeed. <laughs> no, it happens though. It happens, you know? They should really, like, have another button. Well, I mean, if there's another button that cha swaps the items, I would still accidentally hit Q, you know? That doesn't save me at all. At least we do have an HP upgrade. It's also a bone heart, I think. Yeah. So I think that HP, it might not be, no, the bone heart will be permanent, I think. Would other HP be permanent? You know, let's see. Let's use uh, placenta. Uh, Q. So we got the HP upgrade. Do we still maintain placenta? We do, okay, so HP, oh, whoops. HP upgrades are are able to be maintained forever, okay. So you, should, you should just use them whenever you get them. BBF. Probably not completely necessary, but you know what? That saved a lot of time, so thank you, BBF. Hey, Bob's Brain, Um, we'll save you for a moment. Actually, you know what, Bob's Brain, if we lose the Bible, oh, you dick! <laughs> if we lost the Bible, Bob's Brain would actually be kind of helpful against Mom, I think. Because with Bob's Brain, it'll come back, it'll do a lot of damage. Uh, let's get rid of you, Smelter. Um, I don't have any trinkets. I'm not gonna go back for a trinket. Polyphemus. Maybe we'll keep that one too. You know, all we right. Forgot that you were up there. Uh, all we have to do is just make sure that we beat Mom. We can totally do that with Polyphemus Bob's brain. In fact, we could probably use Bob's brain against this boss if we so desired. Box of spiders. Yep, you do get the spiders out of it. And I, I, I noticed something right there. We got the spiders. There was no other indication of it working. So back when I was like, we're not getting value out of these active items. We're getting value out of the active items. You just can't see it. So the active items work. You just don't hold them over your head for long, if at all. Interesting. But at least now we know. At least now we know. Rainbow baby. Uh, skip past it. HP, fortune cookie. Didn't give us anything, but that's okay. Don't lose your devil chance. I mean, honestly, I feel like those devil cards are, are very powerful because if you get the HP permanently, you know, you wanna get those devils and, and use them. Okay, what are we gonna use here? We'll probably just use um, unicorn horn. Yeah. You know, I'm just gonna use Bob's brain because <laughs> this guy is a bit of a pain in the butt. I guess I could just could have just used normal bombs, but you know, we got it. Let's use it. What's our time looking like? 17 minutes. We are not gonna make it to boss rush. Not on this challenge run. Sorry. No deal with the devil, but we do get another starter deck. So we got sissy, book of sin, Minecrafter, which is just total trash. I can't even. Oh, I can set it off. Later, sucker! I thought bone heart counts towards devil chances. You lost a bone heart. Um, you do not lose devil chance on a bone heart breaking unless you are the forgotten, in which case you do lose your devil chance on a bone heart breaking. That's the that's the rub. Dude, I hate these floating brains. I'm just gonna tell you that right now. They like, they they angle themselves directly at you and then explode. Why do brains float, by the way? Like, <laughs> the other brains, they have to like stay on the ground. Why do you get special privileges? Holy water, holy water is pretty good. You jumped over it. What a dick. Come here. Idiot. We got magic mush. So that's an HP upgrade that we'll maintain. Although it it was full when we got it. Magic. Wait. May, oh, maybe that just gives you a full HP now. Maybe it's not a partial HP. I don't know. Maybe. 
by the way. Pop tears. Clink, 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 clink. Steam sale. Let's save that, because if we use that in the shop, we will get a a cheap shop, I guess. Although, like, what's the point? For cards? What do I care about more cards? I have items already. I guess to buy more items, but like, you know, whatever. Stitches is pointless. You know what? Give me piercing shots plus a speed upgrade. Why not? You think I could get planetarium? Hold on to three zodiacs? Book of Secrets? You know what? There's a shop up here, so let's go to it. It's also a button room. Oh, well, looks like it's not that bad of a button room, at least. Dear Nunu, welcome back. I am, in fact, playing Cantrip Challenge, which is kind of interesting. There's a steam sale. Oh, batteries are cards, okay. It's an all stats up. Look at that. Uh, I guess we'll buy the card. There's a cube of meat and a damage upgrade. I mean, that's actually really good. That's HP. Magnet we don't need. I'm just I'm just using bad cards to keep card room, kind of. Uh, and this is the wrong direction. I should have looked at the map when we used that book. Oh, that's okay. Oh, yay, lodestone tears or strange attractor. Hell no. All right, let's go left. Pretty good infamy room, I I have to guess. <laughs> Look, I got one of them, I'm okay with that. There we go. So you gotta like plan out when you wanna use particular <laughs> cards. Oh, this is, this is a strange run. Complicated, confusing, underpowered. I would use all of those things to describe it. Oh no, I can't you freaking can use this. Use this. I hate that I'm fighting you. I was holding on to these good items for the boss, but you know what? You're probably more annoying. Is that Sacred Effing Heart? No, this is not Sacred Heart. I think I've had this before, though. Where's the freaking boss room? I think I've had this before, though, but it's a very um, unusual item that I don't remember what it is. <laughs> we'll see on the boss fight, maybe, because it does look pretty good. Anti-grav, you know what? I don't mind anti-grav. Careful, you're only gonna shoot someone's eye out. <gasps> hey, it's cancer! Also, it's 10 bombs? Yep, <laughs> it's just 10 bombs. Makes sense, I guess. All right, what is this? Immaculate Heart, Halo of Tears. Oh, right, so you kind of have free tiny planet shots. They don't actually affect your shots, you just get free tiny planet. That I think are also homing? No, they're not homing at all. But still, that's pretty good. Free shots. If you have a lot of damage, then that can protect you. If you have like shielded tiers and, I, you know, I don't know if these shots will maintain your tier effects, but if they did, that would be amazing. Curse of the Tower, let's just get rid of that immediately. Why would I ever want that for a room, <laughs> you know? <laughs> Guppy's head? Use that before the boss fight. We just use Eyesore here for like no reason. Well, no, there is a reason. The reason is to get it out of the deck. But we are still essentially on base damage. No, we do have a damage upgrade. We did get a damage upgrade by summoning the cube of meat. So, you know, we got that going for us. The heck is this? Lift of balance, a gift from above. I got no idea, okay? I should probably know what it does. I don't. This is an evil range and shot speed up. Sometimes I just remember, you know. <laughs> no, no items, just spikes. Beautiful. You know what? Give me Guppy's head. I imagine we cannot become Guppy because that's an active item and we can't hold it. But maybe holding onto the card counts as holding onto the item. I don't know. 
That would be cool. Maybe we could become a guppy if we held out onto three items. You know what? Purga if this is the item I think it is, purgatory is good. Yeah, purgatory is pretty okay in a room like this, it seems. Uh, it's Necropolis 1 against Brownie. This seems like a sensor opportunity. Sorry, that was not sensor. Oh, it's a guaranteed deal with the angel. <laughs> it's, um, uh, whatever the heck it is. Poop bombs. Poop bombs will make you stronger. I need the card. Mucromycosis might make you stronger, but I'm, I'm willing to find out. Oh my god. Fighting this guy with no damage kind of blows. At least we are, we are going to get a 100% chance at a deal with the Dangel. We also do have a, a heal card in the form of the body, plus 3 HP. That's pretty good. We have a pentagram, which is pretty good. And a angel? Wait, that's not an angel card. That's polydactyly. Oh, but polydactyly gave me this, which is an angel item. I don't know. Spear of Destiny sucks, though. HP up sucks. Bandage sucks, but it's heal. Let's get rid of the ladder, I guess. That was a long floor, too. FNL. Temer... Temer... Temerair? Welcome. Welcome to the stream. How you doing? Um, has Abe gotten any of the tainted characters? Yes, in fact. Because if you have to get a tainted character to play as this challenge, in fact, which is a very dumb challenge, but it's still kind of interesting. It's it's unusual. Post hat, protect me. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I think I have. Pro I think I have probably probably about half of them. Yeah, probably about half. We're getting there, you know. We're getting there. We actually have an assortment of great items. So I'm I'm looking for. Whoops. I'm looking forward to fighting the boss pretty soon. Giant spiders and flies. Well, we can probably just get rid of that one. Bum, bum, bum. I couldn't tell you what my favorite character is, though. My favorite tainted character. I mean, obviously there's some some choice characters, but uh, I'd have to really think about it, I think. I mean, I kind of kind of don't want to use any of these items. I kind of want to just wait and fight mom. I mean, we have like infinite health and damage as soon as we get to the mom fight. We just got to get there. Although I suppose we could just use um, the bandage like after this room for a little bit of health, which means maybe we should just be like super aggressive with the the meat boy. You know what? Yo, hit me. You just blew up! <laughs> you blew up on my, on my, on my dude! What the heck? Terror, born to rock. Alright, we got like a weird rock shot going on, that's pretty cool. Whoops, I didn't see you. I was looking at the, uh, the health indicator. I wanted to see what my health was. I was like, how's this bone heart look? You know what, where's my bandage? Go ahead, use it. Heal. Heal me! All right, damage and range. That's probably worth using on a single room. Told ya. And then we get the compass, which we can't even take value out of. All right, well, good good use of company resources right there. Let's start backtracking, I guess, and uh, pick up any cards that we left behind. Wow, 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 wow. There we go. Do we, we have to kill these things? All right, well, you know what? I don't care about spirit hearts right now. 
I have I have way more HP than I would need saved up and ready to go. I have way more damage than I need saved up and ready to go. I'm just waiting for the mom fight now. I have Polyphemus, Cricket's Head, Pentagram. I'm ready. What are these Zodiac items? Pluto, size down. I am really small. <laughs> I am very tiny. I assume that affects my hitbox. That's cool if, if that's how that works. Hold on, hold on. Mom's bra. Active items totally work. Let's use fruitcake. I'm feeling nutty. Sorry, is that fruitcake? No, that's um, that's almond milk, I think. I'm feeling nutty. Uh, don't, don't melee that guy, he blows up. All right, you know what, we actually could, we can get, um, we can get Seraphim. We can get the Seraphim transformation out of this. So, I'm curious to see if the transformation is maintained. So we're gonna use this, this, this. We are now conjoined, actually, not Seraphim. I thought we would be Seraphim, that is not the case. But do we maintain conjoined? Nope. So there you go, there is proof positive that when you lose the items, you lose your transformation. Any more questions? Any more questions? You know, buy a D1. Oh, it just gave me another item. I mean, Quince and uh, Revelation are pretty okay. Boo! <laughs> yeah. I mean, I would have liked it too. All right, we ready? We're gonna spam use. All right, this revelation beam, pretty good. And we're done, I stood in the middle. <laughs> Justice has appeared in the basement. We've unlocked another upside down inverted tarot card. Cantrip has been completed. Interesting challenge. Um, it'd be interesting to see what would happen if you went further on into the run, but it's probably nothing good. You're gonna, you're not gonna scale as quickly as the enemies scale, but getting one item temporary per room, holding onto the items for when they are most beneficial, you might be able to make it pretty far. I mean, you could probably win the entire game with no items whatsoever if you're good enough, but interesting challenge and it's been completed. For those of you on YouTube, thank you very much for watching. Like the vid video if you've enjoyed it. Subscribe for more. Check me out on Twitch for when I go live. Um, I forgot what I was saying. Goodbye.